All right, so the winner of the bodybuild.com uh, gift card is... What is going on everyone? So it is the first time I am vlogging back here in Austin. So we came back uh, last Friday and today is Thursday? Yes, today is Thursday. So I finally, finally got caught up on all my vlogs, got all those posted when I was back in Memphis. So today, the main topic is the giveaway. I had, I said I was gonna be doing a giveaway like two weeks ago when I hit uh, 16,000 subscribers. Well, I hit that and I've been meaning to pick the winner, but uh, when I was out of town and stuff, really did not have the time to sit down and look through all my subscribers and all the comments I got. So I'm gonna do that today. But first off, I got up and did some cardio this morning. And also foam rolled because I am sore. Boom, so we are back here and now I'm going to pick the winner of the giveaway. So first off, before I announce the two winners, yes, I said two, I am going to give away the slingshot to one person and then the $100 gift card to another. But I wanted to get on here and say thank you for all of y'all that subscribed and also commented and liked the video. I got tons of different people that left comments, you know, nice comments that they've been subscribed for a while or just subscribed. So thank you all that participated in this contest. And some of y'all actually checked out y'all's profile. Do the creep. Oh, and do the creep. And y'all commented on that video and said that you were subscribed. So I was looking at you as a contestant and then we get on your profile and you weren't actually subscribed to my channel. So a couple of people I can name right now that missed out on this giveaway because they told me they were subscribed and then I looked and they weren't. Yeah, I'm able to look at your profile and see who you're subscribed to, plus I'm able to see how many people that watch my videos are subscribed, and I was totally shocked when I saw this. It is 65% of my viewers on my YouTube channel are not subscribed. I don't understand that. So guys, if you're consistently watching my videos, why not subscribe? Why not? I'm so confused. So as I said, I had to go through a list of all the subscribers that I had and the comments I got and the likes and stuff. I, I, you can't go over the likes and you can't see who liked your video, but you can over the comments. So I went down the comments, looked at who they were subscribed to and made sure that they were subscribed to my channel like they said. And so I picked out two people out of that list that is gonna be winning something today. And those people are, his name is Nick uh, Rydell, I believe. So if I'm saying that uh, name wrong, I'm sorry. And then Trey Gill is the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold these names in half and then I'm gonna stick these names in my hat. The first person that I draw out of that hat, out of this hat, bodybuild.com hat, haha, uh, is gonna win the $100 gift card to bodybuild.com and the second person will get the slingshot. So here we go, here's the hat, there's the names. All right, so the winner of the bodybuild.com uh, gift card is Nick Rydell. Yeah! All right, so you're the winner of the $100 gift card, and then, who did I say the other guy's name, was Trey Gill. Yeah! You're the winner of the slingshot. So thank you, Trey and Nick, for participating in the contest. Hope you like the gift card and the slingshot. Now, for everyone that did not win something, I am sorry. I wish I could give something to each and every one of you that commented and liked my videos and subscribed, but of course, I can't do that. I'm gonna be doing some more giveaways, I'm sure, in the future because it looked like a lot of people really enjoyed this. A lot of people kept commenting in videos after the video that I did the giveaway, uh, commenting and stuff, and I guess trying to up their chances of winning, so I really do appreciate it. So the next giveaway I think will be at the 20,000 subscriber mark. Uh, later on when I get closer to that, I will announce it. Uh, right now it is around five o'clock. I think I'm gonna have some coffee uh, before heading to the gym. I believe it's gonna be a shoulder day. So something has changed since the last time we talked. It is daylight savings time. 
I love daylight savings time. It is so nice to be able to get out and enjoy the outdoors until about 7, 7.30 without it getting dark. Before it would get dark around 6 or 6.30, so now you just have so much more time of the day, it seems like. So filling up my water jug here in the sink, no, it is not tap water. I actually installed a filter underneath the sink here. And don't tell anyone, but that is the reason why uh, our downstairs neighbor got flooded out like two weeks ago. <laughs> But hey, no big damage was caused and I fixed it. So it's fine now. So no, I installed the filter so this is not just tap water. So now sitting here, sipping on some coffee right there and having a protein bar before the gym. I like to have something in my system, either like a protein shake or a protein bar. I don't normally go to the gym and lift weights without having uh, some kind of protein. Uh, you know left in my system because it does make a difference uh, they did some research and I actually read this from uh, Jacob Wilson he's from Tampa and they did some research on it I follow all his research by the way uh, so they said that if you take like protein before your workout and after your workout it does enhance muscle building so all the people that says it does not matter when you take your uh, supplements or it does not matter when you have certain nutrition throughout the day no it's not true true it does help it might be a little bit but hey it still does help oh and the protein bar that I'm having is a muscle tech NutriTech crunch bar these things are amazing uh, the flavor is uh, let's see birthday cake I've had like boxes of these things because I get them off bodybuild.com right now they're having like a sale it's like buy two boxes for $40 and these things are probably my favorite protein bar right now all right, as I said, this is a shoulder workout. Now, Josh did not work out with us this day. He had something else going on, so Shelby uh, worked out with me. Uh, it was a great shoulder workout. I'm going to have the whole workout down in the description box because I cannot take credit for this workout. This is actually a Neil Hill workout that I found that he did, and it's a very high-volume shoulder workout, a lot of supersets and stuff. So we started off with side raises. It was very different because what you would do, you would start off with the heaviest weight, you'd do a triple drop set, and you would do uh, for one, or one set of weight that you picked, you would do like 10 to 12 reps of, and then you would drop the weight, do another 10 to 12 reps of, and then again, 12, 10 to 12 reps of, and that was one. And I did that twice, and then moved on to uh, going light dumbbells all the way up to heavy dumbbells. So doing the opposite, so going back up, this is like a pyramid. And so I would start off with like the 15 pound dumbbells, do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, and then go up by five pounds to the 20s, and then uh, do it again and you know so forth uh, you'll have to look down below to actually get the whole concept it was kind of confusing at first but then we you know got it after those all those side raises we moved on to shoulder press you saw me flipped around uh, reverse on that shoulder press I look like an idiot because most of the time you see people in the gym doing that you know they don't know what they're doing but you're supposed to actually turn around uh, do that for as many reps as you could, which was uh, for 8 to 10 reps, and then spin around, do it the right way, and then go for another 8 to 10 reps, and then uh, doing upright rows, cable upright rows, and then the last one was uh, front raises, a plate uh, bus drivers actually, and doing all those for around uh, 8 to 12 or 8 to 10 reps doing that for three sets this was a killer because it's i don't know what you'd call it it's not a giant set because it's actually like four movements but it was a killer uh, our shoulders were dying after that moved on to uh rear delt now we were supposed to superset all these rear delt movements but the gym was way too packed we went uh when it was like prime time uh, we went around like 6.30 or something, so it was just packed in that gym, so we weren't able to uh, do the superset. You're supposed to do uh, the reverse pec deck, do a triple drop set on here, then you move on to cables and do reverse cables, uh, and then moving on to um, an incline bench reverse dumbbell fly. But we had to do what we could really get right now, so we just did all the sets on the reverse pec deck here. We did three sets of a triple drop set. So I just go to failure for around uh, 10 to 12 reps, drop the weight, do it again, and do it again. Uh, and then we moved on to dumbbells. And we all we did was bent over on, a, well, sitting down, bent over, uh, reverse flies with dumbbells. I only had like the 20 pound dumbbells. 
and I went for around 12 to 15 reps. I did four sets of these, and then I added an exercise at the end. I would do a lean back uh, dumbbell front raise. I would do uh, as many reps as I could, uh, both hands together at the same time. And then when I would hit failure, I would go to single arm. So just doing alternating uh, just to squeeze out a few more reps. So guys, like I said, the whole workout will be uh, in the description box. If you get kind of confused, you can just look over it. So just write it all down and go try it out. And I will talk to y'all later. So done with that workout, let me show you what I'm working with here. So this light that I used to have on a camcorder back, I mean, I'm talking like four years ago when I first got got started into fitness, I used to record um, different workouts and stuff in the gym. So I have this little spotlight for this camera. So let me show you this little thing, what it looks like. Uh, it's on the camera, it looks so weird. So it's a spotlight. <laughs> Look at that little thing. So yeah, uh, I mean, it actually works pretty well if I have other lighting around, but if it's like a dark place, it just looks like I got a spotlight straight on my face. But it's better than having all this yellow light in here. I do have to do something about this lighting in this apartment complex uh, relatively soon. I would like to anyways, because this light is horrible. It's that yellow tint, and I hate that. Right now, it doesn't look that bad because I got this little spotlight on here. But now, uh, tonight, I'm keeping it very low carb. So today is my low carb day. Right now, I'm having just like one or two low carb days out of the week. The rest of them is relatively low already, but it's uh, right around like 250 grams of carbs a day. But right now, today, uh, doing low carbs, so I'm trying to keep it below 60 grams of carbs. So tonight, uh, I think I'm just gonna have like a regular salad and not put any rice and beans in it uh, like I've been having. So just got out of the shower, so all cleaned up. Now it's time for dinner. So I'm having a salad. I was going to have just a normal salad, but then I was like, uh, I don't really feel like having just a normal salad because normally I have a, like a taco salad uh, with some rice and beans on there, but I'm keeping it low carb, so I couldn't have that tonight. So I was like, okay, maybe not, maybe I don't want a salad, so I was just gonna have this rice cauliflower uh this stuff's amazing it has the italian cheese and the macros on them are incredible if you're on a low carb diet uh four uh three fourths of a cup so a serving of this is only four carbs and uh fat is two and a half so the macros on this thing is great tastes amazing too but i thought well this is a rice substitute so why can't i have the taco salad uh, with this instead of normal rice. So that's what I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna have a serving or two of the rice. I'm gonna put it in there. I have uh, six ounces of chicken right there. And then I'm gonna put lettuce on top of there. So it's pretty much gonna be a Mexican salad without the black beans. Most of the time I do have the black beans, but because they have carbs in it, I'm gonna skip the black beans uh, tonight. So this is my salad. Looks pretty much the same without the black beans and stuff. So we're gonna eat that and then she's gonna watch her TV show, Grey's Anatomy, that comes on, or it's actually over, but she recorded it. So she'll be watching that, not with me, because I hate that TV show. So I guess tonight is gonna be a PlayStation night. Yeah. I'm gonna, I played, I did play for like five minutes. So last oh, night. Whatever, we played for more than five yeah. minutes. I, was I mean, you played, that was it. That was the only time I played. Oh, yeah. So last night I went in there to play PlayStation and oh my gosh. I was gonna play with my brothers and it literally took around two hours. I was in there for like two hours on my phone because the PlayStation had to update. It's crazy how long those things take to update, like getting games and stuff, so I could not play. So I stayed in there for about two hours and only played a total of like 15, 20 minutes with Shelby on a different game. It's just, they take way too long to upgrade, update. So tonight, I guess I'll be playing with my brothers because I updated it all last night. So I had some people ask, would I actually play with some fans and people that request me? And yes, I would, guys. Uh, my username, I believe, is Able Body, but the only game I really play is Battlefield. So if you want to play some Battlefield, uh, just add me on there, and I would love to play with you. So Gainer is over there in his kennel, just relaxing. Uh, sleeping, I guess, and then Shelby's in there watching her TV show. So done playing PlayStation, Shelby's done with her TV show. We've been sitting down watching The Prophet, I believe that's what it's called, yes it is. Uh, about to have my last uh, meal of the night, which is gonna be some casing mixed with some whey protein powder and some peanut butter. But I'm gonna show you uh, the second thing I'm making uh, tonight, but I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. So today, as I said, today was my lower carb, but tomorrow I'm gonna have like 
a normal carb day and tomorrow is leg day. So I'm gonna make some overnight oats so that I can have that pre-workout uh, for tomorrow's leg workout. So I'm not all too sure uh, you know, how much to use of this stuff. I We used to do it a long time ago, maybe around three or four years ago actually, would make uh, oatmeal and stick it in like a mason jar and then stick it in the refrigerator overnight and that's what it's called overnight oats and so you'd wake up and you don't have to cook anything uh the oats would actually soak up uh whatever you put in it the almond milk and it tasted amazing but i haven't done it in so long that i don't know exactly how much i need to put in there so i'm just gonna make it up as i go so of course you need some oats. I got some Quaker oats. Uh, I'm gonna use some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a scoop of uh, chocolate protein powder, and then I'm gonna use a banana. And all I'm gonna do here is just stick like a cup of un unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Let me show you. So all I'm gonna do is stick some unsweetened van vanilla almond milk in there, like a cup of that. And then I'm gonna mix in the thing of protein first. Also gonna add some, a little bit of stevia, just to sweeten it up a little bit because I'm not sure how sweet it's gonna be. Uh, like that, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. So now on to the oats. I mixed up the protein powder as much as I really could. I hope that the rest of it will mix up by tomorrow, we'll see. So I'm gonna add one cup of oats, just put them in there and then I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Also gonna add a banana, half of a banana. And I'm gonna mix that up again, and that is all you do. And then I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator and have it tomorrow afternoon before the gym. All right, so this is my last meal of the night, the protein powder. I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, one scoop of casein powder, and one scoop of whey protein, and then half a serving of natural peanut butter. I'm gonna have this and then head to bed. It is already 12 o'clock, so I need to head to bed because we gotta get up relatively early tomorrow. Got a lot going on tomorrow. So excited tomorrow, I have a big, I can't say announcement because I don't know if I can announce it tomorrow, but I'm signing a huge contract, which should be in tomorrow at some point. So I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to telling y'all, but like I said, I'm not sure if I can announce it yet. The company uh, and me are just going over. We went over the contract like a week ago and stuff and they should have it to me tomorrow. So big things to come, I promise. And I will let y'all know as soon as uh, I can really. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again guys for all the people that entered the giveaway. I really do appreciate all the comments I got and all the likes and all the people that subscribed. So I'll be doing another one here, like I said, probably at the 20,000 mark. Thank you guys. Please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I will see y'all next time. All right guys, peace. Man, I hate cardio.